Hey, comic enthusiasts and pop culture lovers, I'm Ashley. Sup, nerds, I'm Ryan. And together, we are Couple, Couple of Nerds. Nerds. Sup, nerds. Welcome to another episode of Couple of Nerds. Today, we're going to be talking about something that's really, really cool. Uh, oh, it's yeah. going to be a little different from what we usually talk about. So today, we're going to be talking about the horror sci-fi classic, Alien. Because it has a little special place in cinematic history. It's because... It's well known for its leading lady, Ellen Ripley, yep. who is played by Sigourney Weaver. And that was like one of her first big cinematic roles, mm -hmm. is doing that. And she was about 23 or something like yeah. that when she started doing that. You told me she was the first female yeah, action. Her, her, break, her breakthrough role. Yeah, that was her breakthrough role. And uh, today we're yeah. actually having a special guest, my brother, Josh. <laughs> Say hi, Josh. Howdy doody. <laughs> so... We decided to bring my brother on for this because I remember watching this a lot with Josh. Um, actually, at an age where I probably shouldn't have watched it, <laughs> but... <laughs> Same. <laughs> the reason why we're talking about Alien is because of Ellen Ripley. Because when this episode is airing, it's actually International Women's Day. And because she is the leading lady, she is the one of the first female action heroes who is the lead. Like, she's not like what would be the typical like female lead for most action film. She's not a blonde. She, yeah. She's, she's not, not barbed wire. Yeah. yeah, she's not barbed wire and she's not Wonder Woman. She is just a working woman trying to provide for her daughter on Earth. Yeah. She's just doing her job. For the she's company. Yeah, for you know, for the company and everything. When she's doing her job and everything and they find the alien ship and everything, she is very against the people going down and actually seeing what's going on. And when someone gets hurt, she's also very against having people come back onto the ship because they don't know what like bacteria or anything will be attached to him yeah, it, and compromise the entire rig. Quarantine protocols. Yeah. But she's trying to follow protocols and if, she's the only one doing it. <laughs> if they had listened to Ripley, they would have lived. Yes. We would have had a, a franchise that we have today. Well, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't have that, but still. Mm. And uh, it's kind of interesting because she's not just like a final girl trope like in most horror films. She's not like just running away. She is actively trying to just survive. Yeah. And get rid of it before it spreads further. She helps make the flamethrower, right? She does. Yeah. She tries to keep people safe, but it doesn't always work because everyone is like, you know, they don't really follow the orders. And not only that, but they had to deal with a xenomorph and a crazy, like, android going yeah. around. Uh, Ash. Yeah. And the AI of the ship is also against them. Oh, yeah, mother. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and like the interesting thing too that I actually realized is that originally all of the characters in the movie were originally all going to be male. They're all going to be guys. Mm -hmm. And, but they were also written to be kind of unisex so they could be both male or female. And originally the lead was actually going to be a guy, but they just, after a while, after they had hired everybody to do stuff, they realized like, you know what, they should probably have, we should probably have a, a leading lady. And they found Suborning Weaver last. She was the last one they found, and they figured, oh yeah, this is the person we need. And since they did that, that was the best idea they actually could have come up with. And the reason why we have Ruth with us today is because not only did Ripley survive, but she also survived with the crew's cat, Jonesy. The leading lady survived being a cat. I guess it's good luck they, to have they a were, cat. They were, they were the, only, the only two people that are the, the only two things that actually survived. Yeah. Exactly. Everything else exploded. Yeah, everything else exploded. <laughs> or die and even the xenomorph didn't die though it's just drifting out in space yeah because it doesn't really need to breathe if our viewers have children do not let your children watch this until they are teenagers it is a very scary series 